jumped up there to crow and then get down. Hey guys, welcome to the and Ethan channel. We're here making life brighter one view at a time. Today we are telling you guys why 2023 is the hardest year ever to be a vlog channel, but we're also going to tell you why we're still doing it. You may be a vlogger already or thinking about starting a vlog channel and we really think that this video is going to help you either save time or at least alleviate some frustration. Okay, so 2023 has already been one of the hardest years ever to be a vlog channel. And at the end of this video, we're gonna tell you why we continue to drop new vlogs every single week, despite it being a really, really hard year to succeed as a vlog channel. And if you watch to the end, you're gonna be able to see our first brand partnership, which is in this box right here. No peeking. Okay guys, it's chore day today. As we do chores today, we're gonna tell you guys why YouTube's algorithm really sucks right now and why it's been really difficult to be a vlog channel. So a little bit less than two years ago, we started our YouTube channel and we were releasing vlogs every single week. And a lot of those videos got really good click rate, really good view retention. And yet our videos just have not been taking off. They have not been growing. We've just been getting like 100 views on every video. So when we were releasing some of our videos when we were earlier on, a lot of our videos would start to grow and we'd start to see, oh, I think we're getting traction. I think they're about to take off. And then they would just plateau and there would be like no views ever again, practically. And so what we want to do today is help you avoid that with your channel, with the videos you're creating and help you to niche down and figure out how to get your videos in front of more people. Let me just start this off and just say a thank you. Oh, you guys like my grapple. So YouTube is owned by Google and Google, as we all know, is a search engine. And most of us, if you've ever done anything in your home or ever looked up a tutorial or anything like that, at some point in time, you have used YouTube as a Google source to search something or search how to do something or search to learn something. This is what I'm learning about YouTube is that regardless of whether you're on YouTube to entertain like a vlogger, it doesn't matter. People want resources, they want to learn. And so you need to provide information or videos that help people learn something. I just wanted to interrupt this video just for just for one second that you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet. So it's as simple as clicking that little button. Go ahead and do it. You're going to want to follow along. We've got new videos every week. So go ahead and do that and let's get back to the video. Well, hey there neighbor. One thing I figured out the last year is my life is not that interesting. So here's what I've learned in the last two-ish years and this is gonna save you a whole lot of headaches and that's this. People are not that interested in you until you provided a reason for them to be interested in you. And so provide people with resources, provide people with knowledge while entertaining them. Entertainment is important, but give them a reason to keep coming back. So when you're new, oftentimes you compare yourself to somebody who has millions of subscribers and that's fine but you look at their titles and you might try to copy their titles that are kind of reactionary of like, oh no, this happened, but that's not really searchable. And we've kind of learned to start to move away from that so that our, our titles can be searched. And I think that's something that when you're small, you need to make sure that your titles are searchable and you need to make it so that people can find your video because more than likely YouTube's not gonna be putting your video in front of a lot of people. So here's another thing that we've learned people like what they know. So if they already have large creators that they like, it's not gonna be a good idea for you to try to be just like them. Something I heard from a, another YouTuber was this example. You go into a food court and there's a ton of burger joints, just 100 burger joints. And the best burger joint in there, let's say is Five Guys. It makes sense logically to go in and say, Five Guys is thriving, I'm gonna make a burger just like that. But here's the thing, people already know that they like Five Guys. Why would they choose yours that could be like Five Guys when they already have found trust in Five Guys? So the best thing to do would be to go in there and say, I'm gonna make a spaghetti burger. Are there any other spaghetti burgers around here? No, is it weird? Yes, but. Thank you. But there won't be anything else on the market that's like that. And that puts you above where you would be if you just copied the five guys. Lydia and I are pastors. And one thing that we believe is that God made every single one of us completely uniquely and that he has a unique purpose for every single one of us. So don't just try to copy somebody else's like destiny, like create what's inside of you. Do something unique, do something you haven't seen before and take risk. And that's the thing. <laughs> Come on, man, we hear you. 
Um, that's the thing over the last two-ish years, I think that we've learned is we were kind of like seeing what other people do were doing and kind of copying that. And there is somewhat of a place of, of doing that for like little viral shorts and stuff like that, but just do your own thing and see who comes along. Oh, look at here. <gasps> what are you doing in there, huh? You're protecting your eggs? We're laying eggs in the food. Are you protecting your eggs in there? Like this seems like a good idea. I'll just lay my eggs in here. <laughs> I forgot to put the food lid back on here after I washed it because they poop on it. And they're definitely laying eggs in the food because it's, it's a very uh, peaceful place to lay, I guess. So if you guys are new to our channel, we have a 20 acre apple orchard and we have over 280 trees that desperately needed pruning and we've been slowly but surely pruning them and bringing them back to their former glory. So right now we're gonna get the drone up in there, show you what's going on and then we are going to get to the next point. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why? Okay, Lydia's never, Lydia's never. Well, what is it? What, can he just go, go up? Up is the left one. There you go. Don't look at up there, look at your screen. Why? Because that tells you what's happening. Oh, okay. You're doing good, babe. Yeah. You're learning. Ah! So the final reason that we think that vlogging in 2023 is so hard is because people nowadays are just not as interested in lifestyle vlogging for the sake of seeing your life. They want to be offered a resource, whether it be a product or a skill, that is what they want. That is why influencers are so big right now and people like following channels that have get ready with me's and all of that because while they're watching, they're getting to see, oh, these are the skincare products they use. This is the kind of coffee they use. Oh, that's a cool way how she does her hair. Oh, that's a really great recipe. People want to be given a tool they want to be given a resource for a, a good product that they could buy they don't want to just watch so on the flip side of it while you're offering them a great resource products how to's that type of thing you also want to make sure that you're telling a great story and you're engaging them in your lifestyle as you vlog okay so here it is this company olifus sent us this for free they literally reached out to us we didn't even reach out to them I think they're an Amazon company, but they sent us this light. It's a work light and they make all kinds of different like security lights and like stuff like that. Oh, wow. Check that out. That's oh, that's sweet. Nice. Look at that. Let's plug her in. Okay. First off, I appreciate that this cord is like at least 10 feet long and it has a little power, a little power switch right here. Check that out. Look at those lumens. Look at that. That's 6,700 lumens of brightness, 80 watts, and it's supposed to last for 30,000 hours. I don't even know if a human can live that long. Okay, so that light is going to completely replace this Harbor Freight work light that we have that gets like 1,000 degrees. You could literally cook pancakes and eggs on these puppies. It's so hot. And then on top of it, it's just broken. And if you have to move it to like any other place on our property, it's just huge and bulky compared to a nice little, just, it's so convenient, but it provides the same amount of brightness and it's a tiny little form factor. So my goodness. Out with the old, in with the new. Thanks so much Olifus for sending us this product. We're so excited to use it. And guys, if you're interested in purchasing their products, you can find them on Amazon and in the link description below. Drink break. Whoa. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, babe, so why are we vlogging even though it's the hardest time ever to vlog? So at the very least, we're creating 
great memories for our family. Um, these videos are awesome for our kids to look back on, for us to look back on and just remember what life was like in each season. Um, at the very most, we're able to create a career for ourselves. We would have never dreamed that like Olafus reaching out to us and offering us a product that that would happen at 1500 subscribers. So that is a great indicator that we are headed in the right direction and you just have to keep going. So many large uh, vloggers will say it's not about if you ever take off, it's about when. So the big thing is keep going, keep pushing, it's gonna happen if you're just consistent and give your all to it. And most of all, the reason why we keep going is because of you guys. It's really, really fun to create videos and see how you guys are reacting to our videos, the questions you guys have, and just the interactions within this community. So thank you to you guys for making this really, really fun. Okay, so quick poll guys. We want you guys to comment below. Do you like watching vlogs of any kind? Um, or is vlogging kind of going out? I love, to just get a quick poll in the in the comments below of whether you like watching vlogs or whether it's something that you really don't watch anymore. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember, you make the world brighter. Go make a difference. Go be the light in the world. And we'll see you in the next video. All right, we're gonna get back to chores. See ya. And don't forget to subscribe. Do it. <laughs>